Hi, this is the uh, section, uh, it's a lecture overview of uh, 5.1, Power Functions. Actually, 5.1 is kind of two sections embedded, but they're totally related. One is called the Power Functions, one called Polynomial Functions. Uh, I like to think of Power Functions as baby polynomial functions, is what they really are. And um, But what a Power Function looks like is y equals x to the nth. And uh, where n is some positive integer, so you get that y equals x to the first, y equals x to the second, y equals x to the third, y equals x to the fourth, and so on down the line. And I did some of them, and it's like six of them, it's y equals all the way y equals x to the six. Now, the first three should look very familiar to you. Okay? These first three are in your library of functions to begin with, so that's not anything new for you guys. Uh, y equals x to the first, it's just a line. y equals x to the second, there's a parabola. Y equals x to the third, has this little sideways s. Y equals x to the fourth, now you, you can plug some points in, but yeah, it looks like this. Y equals x to the fifth, and y equals x to the sixth. Now, there is a reason why I stacked them the way I stacked them. I want you to notice everything under this stack has a similar shape, and everything under this stack has the same shape. So what do they have in common? Well, their degrees are all odd on this one, and all the degrees are even. So that gets us to start talking about something called the end behavior. Now, end behavior is how the graph is acting toward the extremes of the domain. In other words, positive infinity to negative infinity. What is happening in between is irrelevant, but what's happening at the ends is called the end behavior. And what's happening to all the even degree uh, power functions? They're all going up. Now, if you slap a negative on the front of it, they're both sides are going to go down because it's going to be vertical reflections. But the key here is that they're going in the same direction. Now, on odd degree polynomials, they go in opposite directions. So what do you think y equals x to the seventh would look like? Yeah, it would look like x to the fifth. So you're like, well, what, what, how are these any different? I mean, are they the exact same graph? No, they're not. They're, they're, they look the same, but they're not. Um, this one right here has a 1-1, one, one, but this, so does this one. But that's where it ends, and that's where it begins, because uh, you put a 2 in here, you'll get 8. 2 to the third, you get 8. You put 2 in here, you get like 32. But I don't know if you, if you can uh, see the subtleness of my graph, but my, the graph actually looks a lot steeper here than it is on here. It's very subtle. You have to look very closely. Uh, but there, it is slightly steeper than the one above it. And, uh, and if it was x to the seventh, it would be even steeper than the, the x to the fifth. But at the end of the day, they do look the same, though. They, they want the left end goes down, the right end goes up. Again, but if you snap a negative end on it, put a negative in front of the x, the left end will go up and the right will go down because it gets vertical reflect vertically reflected. So, so these are what power functions are. And um, then what we're going to be doing in this section is we're going to be using transformations to take these graphs and shift them and, and move them into another locations, like we did back in 3.5. So this 5.1 is yet yeah, we got new material. We got we got we talked about, we're talking about three more extra types of functions, uh, but they're all in the same class of functions called the power functions. But at the end of the day, we're just revisiting 3.5. So a lot of this stuff, it does revisit, but just puts a, di a different flavor on it is what it is. So we're going to graph this one. If you remember, if there was a plus 1, that will go, make, won't go one unit to the left. It stretches by a factor of 2 and add 4 to it. So which, which power function are we looking at? It's the x cubed. So the answer to this problem will have this shape. Okay. So we take this graph and move it one unit to the left and four units up. And then the two will make it stretch. So one over two up and one over two down. So this one goes one over one up, one over one down. So the stretch will pull it or stretch it by a factor of two. So I'm not a very good artist, so. There we go. And it's very possible that they may ask you what the domain is, which you should figure that out by now. The domain is all real numbers. And the range will be all real numbers as well on this one. So now let's look at this one. This one's uh, negative 3 times x minus 1 to the 4th plus 2. 
Now on this one right here, it's going to have this shape right here. Yeah, you can call it a parabola if you want. It's not really a parabola. It's what I call parabola-like. It's not real a parabola. This is a parabola. Even though they had all the same shape, this is not technically called a parabola. This is not, that's not mathematically sound. Although some people call these all parabolas. I would call this a parabola, parabola-like, parabola-like. So it's just a play on words, but that's uh, it's, it's not totally accurate by saying these are parabolas. So, so what we're going to do with this one is we're going to go one unit to the right, and then two up. So the vertex, since we're going to call it a parabola anyway, one over and two up goes there, and that's a negative three in front of that. So what it, if you remember your transformations, the negative is going to flip it upside down, and the three is going to stretch it. So one over and not just one down, but three down. One over and three down here. So that is the shape of that function. So one over, two up, the three. Now, if you look at this problem right here, they look they have they're the same, they're in the same family. It's just that this one here and this one is up, they're just upside down because of the negative. Now this one's a little steeper than this one here because of the negative, although you probably can't really tell it by the graph. It is though. And so it's been moving one unit to the right and two up. And on this one again, the domain is all real numbers. But what do you think the range is here? So the range, remember, range is the y coordinates. So there is no y, there is no part of the graph above two. The graph stays below two. So the range becomes negative infinity up to 2, including the 2. Now they may or may not ask you those types of questions, but they could. So, But anyway, this is the first half of 5.1. The second half of 5.1 is called the polynomial functions, and those are the, the, big, the big boys compared to these things right here.